Hi friends, uh, in this video lecture, let us discuss about the various approaches uh, available for the for tracking the freedom motions. For the first approach, uh, we call it as uh, Lagrangian approach. So this approach is uh, okay specifically for uh, for analyzing or for tracking the motions of individual fluid particles. First, what we need to do, we have to identify the fluid particles. First, we need to identify the fluid particles or uh, the with the material of the fluid material of the fluid nothing but uh, here material what we say the fluid particle the uh, fluid particle of the uh, or particle of the fluid has to be identified and then uh, we have to track it then uh, suppose if i just say that uh, in the lump of fluids uh, we have a n number of fluids so we have a n number of fluids and uh, in just uh, for uh, analyzing our uh, lagrangian approach I am just for taking only one fluid particle. So let us consider this fluid particle and uh, I am just uh, following this. So I am tracking. So uh, as it moves from here to here, suppose this particle is at time t1, it is here. Then uh, after some time, so uh, this particle will be moving and uh, it, 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 it will go here. So then this particle is uh, okay, the same particle only at time t2. So then uh, now uh, because it is changing from one position to another position then the properties also will be changing. So those properties uh, we are uh, tracking and also we are monitoring the changes in its uh, fluid property. So this is what uh, we call it as a Lagrangian approach. So the Lagrangian approach is nothing but uh, following the individual fluid particles and then uh, recording their uh, changes or recording their uh, fluid properties so that uh, that is why this is also called um, particle based approach this is we can say particle based approach since uh, we have just follow the particles uh, we follow a single particle and then uh, tracking their movements and then uh, observing their uh, changes in the fluid properties so that is why it is called a particle based approach and uh, since okay what we are just doing uh, we just follow the single particle then uh, we just uh, we can uh, find out so whatever the changes we with respect to the time so we can just uh, say uh, the time interval between these two or the time difference so this is nothing but uh, dt so this is then the fluid property so uh, that is we just uh, say dv or any fluid property say example pressure or temperature or density or velocity so if i just put it as a velocity uh, velocity as the single velocity then uh, i'm just difference in the velocity so dv by dt so this is we call it as material derivative this is uh, what uh, we call it as material derivative because here it is nothing but uh, we just take it as uh, take the fluid particle as the material so uh, because uh, any anything and everything uh, can be uh, uh, assumed as the material so here the fluid particle we are assuming as material that's why it is uh, based on that uh, we call this also material derivative also the this is also called a substantial derivative this is also called substantial derivative then uh, also we call it as a total this is also can be called as a total derivative substantial or total derivative so this is so these are the ways uh, it can be that means uh, the lagrangian approach uh, whatever we are deriving the differential uh, equations so that can be called as uh, dv by dt nothing but material of uh, derivative or substantial or total derivative so <clears throat> now what is happening because we take it as the one only one particle and then we are we have done it suppose uh, if we are having uh, n number of particles so then uh, what is the thing we have to do so here uh, i am just instead of uh, considering the only one particle and now I am just going to consider the n number of particles. So like I uh, am um, just it is the fluid flow, fluid flow region. So this is fluid flow regions. 
then uh, let me just fix the region this is the fluid flow uh, path then i am just uh, fixing my uh, fluid flow region so this is the fluid flow region so within this uh, whatever the fluid particles so uh, let let me assume or uh, let us fix that uh, position so let us fix at this point so uh, this is the fluid flow region so then uh, if anything is entering anything is entering uh, entering into this fluid flow region then uh, we are uh, tracking we are tracking their uh, uh, motions and also we are tracking their uh, changes in the fluid property so that means uh, the whole whole thing has to be has to be uh, monitored means the whole fluid particles the lump of fluid particle has to be monitored so when you do so and uh, if you monitor all those uh, uh, fluid particle changes and uh, their uh, characteristics uh, how they are uh, moving uh, whatever uh, the position or how they are changing their uh, locations so all those things uh, we are just uh, tracking and uh, uh, monitoring and then uh, finally we are recording so that is called uh, eulerian approach this kind of approach we call it as eulerian approach so this is nothing but uh, eulerian approach